Hello everyone, we are going to talk about the A-line skirt today and I'm going to show you how you can correct it to get your own personal fit. As you also know, um, yeah, patterns are a base and uh, you measure the sizes where you are in and uh, then it turns out it's just um, a pattern is a base, it's not a personal pattern uh, made for you, uh, so you have to make it for you. And yeah, I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. But first, let me have a look at the A-line skirt. And uh, it's designed for using wovens. And you can use tons of different uh, fabrics for that. But they also will have a different result. Um, the A-line skirt comes in a different length. This is the shortest mini length. It also has a scallop hem as an option. Uh, but they all have one thing uh, the same. They are having an, a front... Uh, part a placket, they having a waistband, and they have uh, darts over here. It has a joke and with integrated date, uh, darts, so you don't have to sew them anymore. And yeah, the options, um, the pockets and the belt loops, and you can also use um, a sew a belt to it. So let's see. So what you are going to do? You can measure a lot from your pattern already yourself. So you, um, you can measure your outseam and you're going to measure that by stand bending over and finding uh, the right, uh, the smallest, of the where it nicks, that is your waist. And you're going to bend over and you're going to measure it to where you want to have your skirt ending. So that is the mini length, this one, and you're going to measure your pattern piece. And you take out the seam allowance and then you can see if you have to lengthen or shorten your pattern piece. So that was that. The, my advice is always to sew a fit first. So uh, measure first, measure your waist, measure your hips. And um, I would advise not to create inwards too much. Um, you can do that, you can correct that yourself later. And you're going, uh, you don't front fit, you don't have to finish uh, your side seams, you don't have to finish um, the waistband completely, you don't have to top stitch, you just sew uh, the front and the back together, make sure that you don't forget the overlap and your waistband, and then you're going to wear it on with wrong sides out. So, and you see, so, I don't... And then you can see if it's, uh, maybe here it's a little bit standing out and you're just going to pin this all the way to nothing if you uh, till you are satisfied and then you can correct this on your pattern piece yourself or you can correct it by sewing um, it and have a look if, if you are happy. The, about the waistband from the back. Uh, there is an option to add um, elastic at the back and it is really nice and keeps you also, yeah, uh, because your body, um, body is fluctuating a little bit uh, through the month, um, that you have a little bit of space left um, for, for later. Uh, but what happens when you use thicker fabric, uh, that is going to be a little bit bulky and when, it's, uh, when here is elastic in, you can see already that this is going to stand out. And actually with thicker fabrics, I would say adjust personal and don't add too much um, elastic at the back. With thinner fabrics, it can be really, really nice and gives a little bit of a nice flowy effect. So you have, you have to be careful which fabric, uh, which look you are going for. And yeah, uh, the waistband, the same. Uh, maybe you have to correct it and add a little bit more white. Uh, you can also, uh, and when it is too tight, just take it a bit, um, bit out and just correct it on your pattern piece and then go for uh, your final skirt. But uh, that doesn't mean that uh, you have to throw away your fit. So you can, uh, as I said, you can correct it by making it smaller. And when you add extra seam allowance, which is also really a nice option when you know how to do that, you just cut a little bit extra seam allowance and then you have the possibility to lay it out a little bit more to give you a little bit more space. What is also an option is that you open your waistband 
again over here and you open this and you add a little bit uh, extra stripe of fabric at both sides which has a really nice effect and your two uh, small skirt is now fitting with a next, uh, nice extra option so I also advise to finish your side seams first before you sew because what is when you here yeah, I finished my sides first and then I start sewing which gives you the option to correct a little bit easier than when you search this all in one time so I think that was pretty much it and when you have questions just don't hesitate to uh, ask in the group there are always people there to help you and get your perfect fit